Hi, my name is Dave Ward from HaveExtra.com. Welcome to the short presentation on how to manage multiple Gmail accounts through a nominated master account. So if you're anything like me, um, <clears throat> you'll have more than one Gmail account uh, to manage your business. You'll have multiple accounts. And uh, one of the problems has always been um, opening multiple accounts uh, within Gmail. But I'm going to show you a little trick now uh, which will enable you to set up up to 10 Gmail accounts um, in a master account so that you can coordinate all of those accounts through one account just by the click of a button. Okay, so firstly I'm going to log into uh, what we'll call our master account just to give you an idea of what the finished uh, product look like, looks like and how it goes about helping you deal with multiple uh, business accounts. So not only you just have one account like this, if you wanted to, um, if you wanted to uh, go into one of your other accounts you'd have to log in and open that account up again. But um, if you do this then what you'll get is at the right hand side of your email address in the master account is a little drop down menu with your other accounts. You can have 10 of these accounts down here, up to 10. So if you click on that, it launches that other account in another tab. Uh, I'll show you one more time. And so effectively, you could have 10 of these tabs going across and coordinate all your email accounts or all your Gmail accounts at once. So let's just close those. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to set one up now. So I'll sign out of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into the account and give access to that account from my master account. So we simply log in to this Gmail account and once the uh, account co uh, comes up we go to settings and then we go to accounts and import and then we go to add another account and in here in this box here we put the email address of the master account which was tornado293 at gmail.com and we click next step and what happens there an email address an email is then sent to that address asking it to confirm and accept so we send email and we close so if we sign out of this one now and we then go back into the previous account the master account we should have an email from the Gmail team granting us access and all we need to do is click the accept link and that will be a success that will take about up to half an hour for this to actually happen and go through but effectively what will happen then is that other email address will come in and drop down here. So that means you can manage all your Gmail accounts from one main account. If we log back into our master account we should now have an additional entry in that little drop down window. And there is the, that's the last one we put in, davesmlmtrain at gmail.com. And there we go. So back to the master account. And we can open as many of those accounts as we want to. And manage all our accounts, all our Gmail accounts from the one master account. So if you send an email from one of your sub accounts through your main account what will happen is the email will say in it who it's from i.e. that it's sent on behalf of the main account to an 293 at gmail.com